morning. Monday the 11th of March 2019. Just gone half six in the morning. British winter time. What a difference a fortnight makes. It's light. I've just noticed Merry Christmas to all the council offices. And it's light over there. That'll do for me. Off to Newport. Oh, I hate it. Cash point deposit facilities. Oh, don't work. And it's freezing. Anyway, I'll eat a little coffee. Here we go. Nice open. John Wallace Linton. Uh, not a great deal on. <laughs> Although, if you like Bull Mastiff, which most people don't. Oops. Anyway, this is Snack Lifter by Jennings, 5.1%. 5.1% at 8.26 means... I'm going to sip it. Mmm. Pleasant aroma. Full body. Fruity. Almost barrel aged. And say be pleasant a bit. Strong bitter finish. This is not from the Glamorgan Brewery, but they're certainly having a big marketing push, and I don't think it's all paid for from themselves. Just a thought. Anyway, Great Western Brewing Co. Black Flower Vanilla Stout, 4.6% alcohol by volume. Barkeep says it's going well. Roasted malts, vanilla and subtle fruity bitterness. Dark in colour. It's dark in colour. And we would fall in Mr. Manning. And tons of pink clips. And a touch of the old mudgies over there. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, I'm getting the vanilla. Oh, there's some nice bitterness in there. A bit of spicy tanginess. <laughs> B plus. In yet another Glamorgan Brewery glass. This is Harmony Amber Ale from Fine Tune Brewery, brewed in the heart of the Sunset Levels. That floats a lot actually. 4.3% alcohol by volume. Wheat and barley are the allergens. Mm. I'm allergic to this in Coxide. Mmm, fruity. Fruity from the malt, fruity from the hops. And gently bitter. That's not too bad actually. It's a B plus, but nice bitter finish. Hey, good. Time for some fine chips. Diet fine chips, actually. Time for some tiny beer. Ah, um, no way goes. 4% alcohol by volume. 10 B Brewing Co. and beer. Marguerite goes. Mmm, fruity and um, oh. oh, that's good. Oh, that's very good. Sharp, fruity, tart. Maybe a little bit of acidic. Good. And in a quality glass. Water, Drubble, Drubble. I like Drubble. Drubble Dry Hot Pale, 5.5% alcohol by volume. AW18 Rudolph Season. In a. Yeah. Murky. Fruity aroma. Yeah, it is. 
So sort of a spicy, peppery finish. But nicely bitter. You know? B++. And just in case Mr. Fox is viewing, that way. Change the flower glass bottle from that to this, and it's Tuesday. Yeah, what? It's Monday, and it's two pound of pint car scales. This is Azakar APA, which is American Pale Ale, 4.4% from Abdi's finest grey trees. Actually, just north of that, but day. Yeah. Let's move this out the way. Is that bad, Chris? Creamy and malty. With a gentle bitter finish. I have to say, not their best, but B+. Plus. There's going to be a struggle with this one. And there's the smell of chips and vinegar, which is somewhat great. This is from the Vegas is a barley wine, and it's 12.9% alcohol by volume. Sipping time this year. And it's arty. Ooh, it smells like whiskey. Thick, engine oil like. Rather expensive. However, B plus in a bit.